A major commitment today from the state's biggest and best known employer. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Nyberg. East Hartford based Pratt and Whitney and parent corporation United Technologies says they will invest billions over the next five years and promise to keep both a jet engine maker and Sikorsky in the state. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from the Hartford newsroom with the details. Mark. Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Pratt & Whitney's first successful airplane engine was completed here on Christmas Eve in 1925. And in War and Peace, they've been making them ever since. Connecticut's most famous product, delivered to airlines and military forces here at home and around the world, is without question Pratt & Whitney jet engines. Responsible for thousands of jobs, Pratt & Whitney is part of Hartford-based United Technologies Corporation, the state's largest private employer. Today, before hundreds of Pratt employees and subcontractors, the big shots at Pratt and UTC were joined by the governor to announce one of the biggest private company expansions in recent history. What is exciting about this historic agreement uh, is that it is one that will lead to more than $4 billion of investment in our state over the next five years and have a direct impact on more than seven, uh, 75,000 uh, jobs in Connecticut. Most of the company's buildings were built between the 1930s and the 1960s. Starting with a new global headquarters in East Hartford, the company will also upgrade and expand its aerospace research, development and manufacturing facilities over the next five years. Also a promise to stay in Connecticut for at least 15 more years. UTC also is committing to keeping Sikorsky aircraft in Connecticut for at least five more years, despite the tenuous times for military contracts. At the same time, we've seen tremendous momentum on the commercial side, and uh, basically we've built a whole new product line that's going to be 30, 40 years of future. I think this gives a very, very long and prosperous future for us. So on behalf of the people of Pratt and Whitney, I want to thank you, Governor Malloy, very much. Now, there are no state loans or state guarantees involved in this very, very big deal. The governor's chief of staff telling News 8, that it's going to be allowing these companies to use several tax credits, research tax credits that have accumulated over the past many, many years. This is a very big feather in Malloy's cap. With this deal, it's going to be very difficult for his critics to say that he's anti-business. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8. Mark, thank you. And Governor Malloy getting some major backing in his push to increase the state's minimum wage. The Commander-in-Chief coming to Connecticut for a Raise the Wage event. It's all part of President Barack Obama's campaign to increase the federal minimum wage from $7.25 an hour up to $10.10 an hour. The New Haven Register reports the event will be held in Hartford. Next one.